Hey everybody, it's Jay from Encodian. So we're gonna continue our series on our utility actions and today we're gonna to focus on text contains value. And what this action does, it simply searches a text value or a string value to find if the specified value is contained within that. So I have a manually triggered flow uh, to demonstrate this and it's gonna ask the user to provide two values. So a text value, which I'm gonna search, and then the value which I wanna try and find inside that text value that I've uh, initially set. So let's add the encoding action and we'll just do text contains value. I should bring that up. There we go, utility text contains value. Um, I can simply mirror the properties because that's how I've set up the trigger action. So I can set text here and I can just choose that from the trigger. And again, value coming from the trigger as well. Um, I'm just gonna click show all on the advanced parameters so we can quickly review these. So. The first one allows me to set whether it should be case sensitive or not. It's, it's not by default, but you can set it so that it is. Um, we can control um, what's been set, the comparison configuration, which is in essence how the, the text is handled by um, the backend processing. So we can use current culture, invariant culture or ordinal, um, and we can equally well actually set the culture that the thread is gonna execute within if we need to. Um, you'll probably never need to set a comparison configuration and culture name and the default will be fine, but obviously you can control that should you need to. Um, so what I'm gonna do just to demonstrate how to use the value that comes back from the text contains value action, I'm gonna send an email to say, uh, in essence, the result of what's, um, of what's been evaluated. So I'll do send me an email notification and I think I've got some speed things along, some copy and paste, it always does that. And we'll do text contained value into the body. Now, the text contains value action is gonna return a Boolean. So it'll, in essence, true or false. So I'm just gonna select this result property which contains that. All of the utility actions, the value, whether it's a text value, whether it's a Boolean, whether it's a date, will always come back in the, in the result property. So I'm gonna pass that in there and hopefully what I should see um, is text contained value in the body and then true or false. So I'm gonna test the action uh, manually. So let's run the flow through. Just waiting for this to save. There we go. Manually, test, and here's the text, the sample text I'm gonna, I'm gonna search, and here is the text value, which I'm hoping to find, and I do know that it's contained, so I should get uh, an email with a body, text contained value, true. So we'll run this through. And we can see that's run successfully already. Um, and if I look on the inputs of the send me an email notification, I can see that that is the body there, notification body, and you can see that it's set to true. And likewise, on the outputs of the encoding action, I will be able to see that that result properties come as, tr as true as well. Now, let's just, oh, there we go, result. You can see that it's true. Um, I should also receive the email, which we can, we can certainly test. So let me just drag that across. There we go. So there's that particular email as well. Hopefully that gives you um, a simple uh, but good demonstration of how to work with this particular action. As ever, please feel free to email us at support at encoding.com uh, and don't forget to check out the documentation at support.encoding.com.